give, give me the chicken. G give me some chicken. There are probably a few KFC menu items you've never had the chance to taste. The reason why you might be missing out on some pretty tasty, or at the very least interesting, KFC foods is because your local restaurant doesn't serve them. Like many fast food chains, KFC's menus vary from country to country. So we've put together a list of the top 10 KFC food items you've never tried. Cause it's old white meat and I found it in the trash. Nacho box. I made nachos last night. Oh, amazing. If you're not from Australia, there's a good chance you've been missing out on KFC's Nacho Box. The Nacho Box was brought about during an era when Mexican food was, for no apparent reason, taking Australia by storm. Always game, KFC was quick to jump on the bandwagon, launching their very own line of nacho-themed products. The concept of the Nacho Box is quite straightforward. It's literally a box of nachos. I don't know what I expected. For the most part, it follows the classic nacho recipe and is made up of salsa, cheese, and tortilla chips. But since this is KFC, the fast food chain added their own special twist to it, adding spicy chunks of popcorn chicken into the mix. No doubt, this is one food item we have no trouble getting behind. I'm about to eat nachos! It's the greatest moment of my life! KFC Crush'em Skittles. Taste of the rainbow. Peter, are you hiding Skittles in your pants? On KFC's British dessert menu, you'll find a line of novelty milkshakes, famously named Crush'ems. There are several flavors of this summertime dessert, many of them inspired by different candies, such as Maltesers and Twix. And the one we're most interested in is their Skittles-flavored Crush'ems, a pink milkshake with original Skittles mixed into it. Is that a tasty beverage or is that a tasty beverage? What? This sweet treat is the perfect chaser to any of KFC's salty, savory meals and can always be counted on to cool you down on a hot summer day. KFC isn't the first fast food restaurant to mix candy and ice cream, but their decision to use Skittles is impressive. It's pretty uncommon to see Skittles eaten in any way other than straight out of the bag. So the Skittles Crush'ems gets points for originality. The Skittles Crush'ems came under fire a few years ago, criticized for its allegedly dangerous sugar content. Too much sugar, that's all. No, no, hold on now. I basically live on sugar. This can be taken as a sign that it probably tastes absolutely amazing. Luckily, in spite of the public outcry, this delicious flavor is still widely available in the UK. Caramel Cream Ball Another decadent KFC dessert comes from France. This dessert as a whole sounds like any sweet tooth's dream come true, but it's the presentation that has people obsessed. What do you want? Ice cream! <gasps> I want ice cream! Like most of KFC's sweet food items, the cream ball lineup is ice cream based. Served in a plastic sphere with an opening at the top, each kind of cream ball is made up of three main components, a crunchy base, vanilla ice cream, and a sweet flavored sauce. The specific ingredients in France's caramel cream ball are vanilla soft serve on a bed of chewy caramel fudge chunks topped with caramel sauce. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. It's basically a new and improved caramel sundae, and it gets major bonus points for being aesthetic enough to fit on a foodie's Instagram feed. One cannot expect anything else from France, where sweets reach another level. A lot of French foods have made it across the pond and become popular in the US, and we don't see a reason why this wouldn't be the case with the KFC cream ball. Do it! Do it already! Deep fried corn soup. Here, drink this, you're talking crazy. The phrase deep fried corn soup gives us a lot to unpack. It isn't quite like anything we've ever seen before. It's totally understandable if you're skeptical, but give this Japanese KFC food item a fair shot. When you think about it, corn and soup are both top tier foods, and no food has ever gone into a deep fryer and come out worse for wear. So logically, deep fried corn soup has to taste incredible. One can only hope. 
This KFC snack started off with a corn potage, which is heavily battered and deep fried. The resulting product looks like an extra puffy hash brown. While the outside is crispy, the inside remains ridiculously creamy. It's the perfect comfort food. Japan's authentic cuisine already offers so much that if you were to vacation there, an American fast food restaurant probably wouldn't be high on your culinary bucket list. But if you do have the chance to visit a KFC in Japan, this would definitely be an interesting food to try. You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Shrimp Donut When Thai KFCs created the shrimp donut, they altered the course of history. They mixed various ingredients that should have nothing to do with each other and created something sumptuous. God, you're brilliant! The shrimp donut has little in common with the dessert food served by Dunkin' and Krispy Kreme. It only gets its name from its shape. Inside the donut, you'll find a layer of minced shrimp stuffing. The whole thing is dunked into batter and deep fried to perfection. I want that in my mouth. If you live in the USA, odds are that you've never had the opportunity to try out this KFC product. Ugh, yes, don't remind me. Keep your fingers crossed and pray that American KFCs eventually decide to upgrade their menus to include some of their more interesting international food items. The Scoffee Cup In the fight against climate change, people are making the switch from single-use coffee cups to reusable coffee cups. I'm doing my part! KFC's Scoffee Cups were made and gave a whole new meaning to the word non-disposable coffee cup. KFC described the cups as being made from a unique biscuit wrapped in sugar paper and lined with a layer of heat-resistant white chocolate. Then, as you drink the coffee in the cup, the white chocolate lining will slowly begin to melt and mix with your coffee. That's a that sounds so good. The cup even gave off its own aroma as KFC partnered with The Robin Collective, an experimental food company, to help infuse the Scoffee Cups with coconut cream, freshly cut grass, and wildflower scents. What? Why are you telling me that? That's just weird. Whether that's a good thing or not, that's up to you to decide. The KFC Scoffee Cups were only released in the UK for a trial period. This trial period came and went, and no plans were made for an international release or to even have more available to UK customers. It simply disappeared. But fear not, if you like this concept, there are indeed other smaller and local shops experimenting with these types of edible coffee cups. We hope this is not the last we hear of edible coffee cups being offered from a major fast food player, as it's just such a cool idea. Okonomiyaki chicken. That's quite a mouthful. I know. We're working on it. While okonomiyaki chicken is on menus at KFCs in Hong Kong, okonomiyaki is actually a staple of Japanese cuisine. It's a savory pancake that, depending on where you order it, will contain different ingredients. But the basic recipe calls for flour, eggs, cabbage, and water. Okonomiyaki is usually served with a variety of toppings. In their own take on this classic dish, KFC did away with the basic recipe entirely, replacing the pancake itself with a piece of bone-in fried chicken. This man is a genius. A genius! The restaurant is Kentucky Fried Chicken, after all. The piece of chicken, however, is dressed just like okonomiyaki would be. The toppings include mayonnaise, okonomiyaki sauce, seaweed flakes, and bonito flakes. The sheer volume of the toppings makes this piece of fried chicken tricky to eat. All of the dressings are absolutely delicious and complement each other perfectly. This is a great way to get a taste for another culture, even though the restaurant is American. While you're not getting okonomiyaki chicken at your local KFC anytime soon, definitely keep it in mind in case life ever takes you to Hong Kong. Road trip! Zinger Double Down King It was only a matter of time until a version of the Double Down made this list. It was simply a question of which one. There have been several variants of this burger ever since the United States came out with the original Double Down, a sandwich where the buns were replaced with two fried chicken patties, in between which you can find bacon, cheese, and sauce. 
I need it. Now! As ridiculous as it sounds, the creation of the Double Down launched a worldwide feud. KFCs in different countries have come up with their own versions of the Double Down, each more outrageous than the last. The Zinger Double Down King one-upped the original sandwich by adding a slice of beef between the two chicken patties acting as buns. That got unhealthy real quick. Oh yes, the bacon, cheese, and sauce are all there as well. Talk about Protein City. It's up to you to decide whether or not that's a bad thing. I pray we choose wisely. Tomato soup macaroni with flava roast chicken. Let me show you how a classy guy does classy stuff. If you're an American craving comfort food in Hong Kong, swing by your nearest KFC for this pick-me-up meal. The name tomato soup macaroni with flava roast chicken might be a bit of a mouthful, but the only words needed to describe it are wholesome and delicious. And that's a Joe Exotic Prize. The tomato soup and macaroni macaroni are a classic combination, but the star of the dish is the flava roast chicken that tops it all off. If you need a frame of reference, it's comparable to the grilled chicken you can get at KFCs a little closer to home. The marinade is top-notch, and it's perfectly cooked, leaving it juicy and tender. Are you salivating? Get away from me! In the name of keeping things healthy, there's some corn mixed into the soup as well. Finally, for the sake of presentation, a slice of tomato tops the whole thing off. This soup is all nostalgia. It's sure to take you on a trip down memory lane. Pair that with the chicken that never disappoints, and you've got yourself a recipe for success. A little taste of home away from home, if you will. At least compared to some of the other KFC foods you've probably never tried. Corn and Philly Chicken Sandwich Hailing from Brazil, this food item does not look all that appealing. And yet, most people would probably be surprised by how much they enjoy it. It might not look like much, but never judge a book by its cover, you know? I mean, we've all heard of Philly cheesesteak, but Philly chicken? KFC developed this sandwich as part of a partnership with Philadelphia Cream Cheese. The recipe is quite simple. Instead of a traditional condiment like ketchup or mayo accompanying the piece of fried chicken and two hamburger buns, this sandwich is kept from getting too dry by a generous serving of cream cheese. That's cream cheese. No. Yeah, that's cream cheese. For added flavor, corn has been mixed into the cream cheese topping. This isn't a chicken burger for the faint of stomach. Altogether, it makes for a pretty heavy meal. Cream cheese goes well with pretty much anything, and we doubt that a chicken burger would be the exception to the rule. As for the corn, well, who doesn't love corn? All the ingredients sound great when alone, but to put them all together in one sandwich may be a bit of a reach. No one can accuse KF of not taking risks. Boldly going where no man has gone before. We've got more on our menu. Just tap one of our other great videos. First time here? Then click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.